This Russian dash cam video starts with a car full of friends gawking at a figure dressed in all black who looks very out of place standing all alone in the quiet city streets so late at night. Something feels off about this stranger, so they decide to double back and take a second look out of curiosity. This time they get a much better view at the shadowy apparition and they all yell in surprise. <laughs> the cloaked figure has stepped into the street and now faces them, almost as if expecting their return. The camera's quality is admittedly not very good, but I can't make out a single discerning feature of this person's face, which makes me wonder if they even have one to begin with. It's almost as if they were a shadow person. Then again, these friends kind of sound like they were possibly making a big deal out of nothing. With that said, something about the figure's silent, menacing posture and the way it stands in place makes me think this could be a spirit after all. Darkness. A pale faced creature is stalking the darkness, and YouTuber Terror Al Extremo is stalking it back. At first, the creature is barely distinguishable. No se ve nada, ¿verdad? Es que si. Sí. La neblina está. But then it can be seen passing behind a pillar and then around the side of the building. It starts causing chaos and it doesn't stop. When they try to walk away, it draws them back in. It's like they're playing a game of cat and mouse, and it's getting more and more dangerous. But what creature is playing with them? They spot it again in the end, but it's just a fragment of the being. Hey, Leo, allá banco. Hey, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? What is this thing? I am not sure exactly, but it's definitely a paranormal entity judging by all the mayhem. Numbers On September 24th, 2016, Corey McKeague went missing around the area of Bury St. Edmunds and Suffolk, England. This CCTV footage published in October of 2016 to YouTube by hashtag FindCorey shows the servicemen's last known movements. From one angle, he is seen somewhere meandering down the road, not walking a straight line. He passes two men and appears to drop something on the ground, which he quickly picks up before continuing on. Another camera view shows him walking casually around a corner with his hands in his pockets. The town center footage shows McKeague enter a cul-de-sac with wheelie bins in it. This is where he was last seen. His mobile phone was tracked from this cul-de-sac to a landfill. At first, the police weren't planning to search for the missing man there, as the garbage truck along that route was only estimated to be carrying 33 pounds. Later, however, they discovered the weight was around 220 pounds. The 2.1 million euro investigation has not yet turned up Corey, although authorities believe that the missing man was crushed by a garbage can and that his passed away body is somewhere in the landfill, and some theories suggest foul play, but regardless, his disappearance remains a mystery. The search for Corey McKeague continues. The scariest things are unseen. Redditor Fire from Thaumaturgy shares this video of footsteps in a stairwell, only there's no one there. The footsteps seem to be far away at first, but then come all too close. But some Redditors think it's a hoax.
While I also agree that the footsteps sound like they're coming from above and are running in place, this could still be without the Redditor's knowledge or collaboration, which is seriously creepy. In fact, the Redditor claims he was walking down 18 flights of stairs from the top and didn't hear anyone entering the stairwell behind him. They also say they felt a gust of cold air and have a history of encounters with paranormal activity, all of which makes me lean towards this video being legitimate. What do you think? While investigating the haunted Bel Air house, Sunny finds that the stories are true. Sunny's experience there gets off to a rocky start. The crew starts to sense things and hear things. Oh my What? Oh man, Sonny was coming up. You cheat, why you got your light on? I well, I was trying to come down the steps. You got your light on too. Y'all up here like a bunch of so turn your light off. My light is off, man. And then footsteps. Came over here. Kind of like footsteps, but I think uh, maybe picking up Christmas. But do they belong to his crew, or is someone unseen closer than he thinks? Either way, I think it's time to find the exit of this place. Redditor Purgatory Adventures submitted this to the Chills Narrator subreddit, and they said it's one of the scariest events in Purgatory Adventures history. The Redditor described the events as the following. We captured footsteps coming down the stairs at us. The ghost hunting team appears to be in an abandoned building of some sort. One team member sits in the middle of a mostly empty room, but keep your eye on the door in the top right. And just like that, clear as day, they hear footsteps coming from the other side of that door, like someone is walking down some stairs. What the f That was like in the staircase, man. Something tells me they're not alone in this place, but the question now is whether it's a ghost or a stranger. Which one do you think it is? Either way, I'd be staying far away from this place. What the f That was like in the staircase, man. Have you ever seen a door slam all on its own? Okay, but have you seen it happen in a creepy underground morgue? Steady Pop published this horrifying video in May of 2017 which begins scary and then escalates even further. As the camera wads into the darkness with a flickering lantern lighting a hallway, strange slamming noises are heard. You might be screaming, don't go down there at your computer screen right now, but the cameraman isn't listening. He walks towards the hallway. And as he gets closer, you can see what's making that slamming noise. It's a red door down at the end of the hallway. It's opening and closing shut on repeat with no end in sight. As the cameraman gets closer and closer, your heart starts beating faster and faster. And then suddenly, the door stops slamming. The lights flicker on and then off completely. When they turn back on again, the cameraman walks over to the door and opens it. Nothing is inside. The cameraman turns down towards the end of the hallway and into the adjacent room, but nothing. Was this the paranormal in action? Or as some in the comments believe, was a fishing line involved? Real or fake, what do you think? It's certainly some interesting footage. Who just let themselves in? Shared by YouTuber Paranormal Road Trip, this mysterious footage of the National Museum of Funeral History in Houston, Texas, appears to show paranormal activity. Watch the doors to the left. Mm -hmm. She sits in on. It opens no, again. Nobody else is here. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Goes. Yeah.
The doors at the far end appear to open on their own. No one steps out though. It happens again while a group of people are standing at the end of the hallway. And that door is the latch door. Somebody right? have to turn the knob for that door to open. Yeah. yeah. Or push it or from push the push inside. It. So it's not just air pressure from opening the front. It's, you actually gotta you push gotta it. Push it. So. They recreate the incident on the other side of the door in order to see if the air pressure from the outer door causes it to open. Doors didn't no, even budge. Not even. They didn't even budge. They're too heavy to do that. So what happened here? Is there still some potential for air pressure? I think there could be. What if there were windows open in the room at the time that may have provided the right circumstances for the door to pop open? Let me know what you think in the comments. Nothing is more terrifying than surveillance footage of an event, especially one that ends human life. This video footage shows three suspects involved in a double life taking in South Ogden, Utah. Surveillance footage surrounding the scene of the event captured two suspects peering through the home's windows and later a masked man fleeing the scene. All three suspects were wearing hard plastic masks. According to several news articles documenting the event, police believe the incident was not random but targeted and that the suspects were familiar with both the people in their home. South Ogden Police Chief Darren Park noted that while reports of a loud party had been made to police, he asked any witnesses to come forward and said in a statement that he hoped the families of the people will gain some closure. Multiple surveillance cameras caught the suspects scoping out the home. One suspect was wearing a mask, while the two others wore opaque plastic masks as they approached. One camera showed a suspect crouched down, watching the home for a while, after which the second suspect and later the third joined in. A second camera caught them peering into the home's windows. Following the event, one of the men was seen on a third camera hopping over a fence. As of the latest update found online, dated March 2019 by ABC4, the double life taking remains unsolved. More has been pieced together of the night's events, including the fact that three of the Van Komen brothers lived in the home, while the unfortunate older neighbor, Kevin Nelson, had just dropped by when the event occurred. Once two of the Van Komen brothers left to pick up some food, leaving just one and one other roommate inside, the stranger seized the opportunity to enter. The brothers were gone for no more than 10 minutes, and when they returned, they found Kyle passed away on the floor. Van Komen's mother, Renee Finch, said of the footage, I think that it's creepy that they're out there watching. Adding later, we're very thankful we didn't lose all three of our boys that night. Nelson's nephew, Ralph Nelson Jr., also said of his uncle that he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, a feeling echoed by Finch, who doesn't know why her son might be targeted. There was no clear motive for the double life taking, which is likely why the trail remains cold today. Despite over 70 people being questioned over the past three years, unsolved mysteries are in inherently terrifying, and the coldness of this case compounds that fear. Maybe you aren't paranoid, but you might be followed. Published by Jasco in June of 2021, this is part 8 in a series of Randonautica experiences over several days. Jasco and his crew are using the app down in Florida State. During their Randonautica tour, they find an old sofa in the forest. But, uh, Wendy's? What we're here for is this. Yeah. After some coaxing, Jasco lifts a mysterious item that's tucked into its cushions. That's like a video game or something. What the hell? Is that an iPod? Yeah, what's one of the old iPhones? <gasps> no, that's Why is it like a saran wrap? Oh, uh. Wait. That item turns out to be an old iPhone saran wrap to the letters C and F. Feel a little bit safer. It is an iPhone. Look at that. iPhone. iPhone Bro, I always wanted they had like a coral one. That's so weird. Okay. What? We just found a phone in the middle of nowhere. I know, that's super old. They try to turn the iPhone on, but its battery is empty. Later on the mission, Jasko says Chris has been hearing something all day, and now he hears it too. Like, where else could it be? I don't know. Dude, I don't know. Yo, like, what would literally, it be? hold on, hold on. Can we talk about something quick? You've been hearing things like all day long. Like, you're like, bro, what is that? Like, I hear like some type of beeping. A beeping sound? Jen finds its source. Chris! What? 
It's a tile oh, tracker, bro. Just one of those little... A tile tracking device. She said she found it in between the middle console. They run it over, but it's still functioning. Hold on, I'm gonna... All this time, they were being tracked. Someone was in their rental car the day before and planted it. But who? My guess is someone with ill intentions. When you explore abandoned places, sometimes you're not alone. YouTuber Christian Harbin posted this video in March of 2018 writing, This creepy abandoned house ended up giving us more than we expected. When I heard those footsteps, my heart skipped like four beats. Whose footsteps did they hear? Watch and see. This door. Did you have stairs? Yep. Crud. When they first approach this creepy house, they find a Ken doll posted up on the mailbox. They wander around outside for a bit before entering through the front door, which is absent of a doorknob. The place looks like it's been stripped, perhaps being prepared for demolition. After they explore the house a bit, they enter the garage, which still has an elliptical inside, but the stranger thing is the attic door is open. With the wooden staircase leading down to the garage floor, when one of them loses to rock, paper, scissors, he must climb those stairs to the attic and see what or who is up there. They decide to enter a door beyond the attic on the ground floor first, but before they can, they hear the footsteps. They're coming from the attic. The pair say this is the first time they've heard something creepy in the abandoned places they explore, but they didn't wait around long enough to see who is making the noise. Most in the comments believe it was probably a person. Others thought it might be an animal. But YouTuber Deanna Ann offered up the creepiest guess. Someone's nailed by their feet up there like the Ken doll. Makes you hope it's anything but that. This live recording was shot somewhere in the country of Turkey. The news report itself starts out normally enough until a bystander notices an object in the distance and points it out to the rest. A group soon gathers around to gawk at what appears to be a large amount of UFOs in the sky. The fact that the video ends before anything else happens makes me think that it could be fake or maybe an electronic disturbance jammed the cameras. If anyone in Turkey knows more about this video, please let me know. This video begins with a man approaching and yelling at these two teenagers. The man seems very upset and appears to be holding a large rock. What is walking? Oh yeah, no you're not. No you're not. You're both intimidating little and I don't get intimidated easy. What have we done to you? Uh, don't you f***ing come at you Don't touch me! He tells the teenagers to leave immediately, but they are unsure what they've done wrong. The man never seems to give a clear answer, but repeatedly tells them to take off still while holding the rock. He swings back at one point but luckily never uses it. What's really scary about this video is how unpredictable this man is and how he seems to be reacting like this towards the two friends for simply walking down the street. You know it's going to be a good video when the license plate has been covered up and check out the dual exhaust. Those pipes look like the perfect place for some snakes to hide. Keep your eyes on them because you're about to see something crazy. Okay, so that was a bit of misdirection, but you have to admit you did see something crazy, and I bet you didn't guess getting run over was how this video ends, and neither did the poor person recording. This must have been at a car rally based on the crowd. I guess the driver was so excited being the center of attention that he didn't check his mirrors before flying into reverse. I really hope they are alright, but I don't see how that's possible, considering how fast this souped up SUV was moving. On January 8th, 2005, a professional diver named David Shaw was on an extraction mission to recover a missing individual named Dion Dreyer. David, having won numerous diving records in his career, many of them going great depths into caves, was confident in his abilities to locate this person. He was also with a team to help ensure his further safety. 
They run a line down the cave to help themselves move along and keep from straying too far and getting lost. There's very little light down here. The line leads to Dion. At three minutes, they pass over this deflated dolphin that was on Dion's vessel as a joke. Now it's on the bottom of the sea cave floor. He is walking along the bottom and soon becomes hopelessly tangled in the line. He pulls and pulls, hoping to find a good place to cut, but his movements become slower as his oxygen runs out. Okay, there he goes, he's moving on again. Now, he's breathing very hard. I won't show the end, but sadly, he did not make it out of the cave and passed in the darkness next to Dion. Let's never forget his valiant final dive and take a moment to recognize his bravery. It was his 333rd dive. Emergency workers gather outside of a room where something terrible has happened and lives were possibly lost. As the camera zooms in, it catches a scary looking figure peering back at them. Its neck twisted so many times that it has become long and thin. The closer they zoom in, the more facial detail I see. Its face is half shrouded in darkness, but I can see the eyes, and it has tall black hair. Or maybe it's simply a crack in the wall. Are You Being Followed? Published by Moosey in August of 2021, one subscriber to the channel claimed there was a paranormal forest near their house, so Moosey went to investigate. This is what happened. Using a paranormal filter on his camera, Moosey takes a few photos. He then goes home to develop them, or at least check them out on his laptop. He shows one of the photos of the paranormal forest without the filter. It looks completely normal, albeit a bit spooky. Note that there's no one in sight. However, the exact same landscape shot with the paranormal filter shows something different. Off to the right, a creepy and mysterious figure with dark hair and a white dress is standing in the brush. She is facing left and looking straight ahead. Another shot of the forest unfiltered again shows no one in sight, but apply the filter and the figure is there again, closer this time, and appears to be looking at Moose. See. Although it's hard to tell, as her face is transparent, she looks as if half of her has been erased. Moosey believes this entity followed him home. If she did, what is she after? I'm guessing his soul. Clay of a paranormal YouTube channel called Time to Play TV is exploring the old Hamilton County Jail in Jasper, Florida on a ghost hunting investigation. Built in 1893, this haunted jail was in operation for 101 years. It is the resting place of many who are believed to have returned as wailing apparitions, slamming doors shut and turning on the lights. Some sections have been remodeled, and this guest bedroom is where you'll find a creepy possessed doll. As they are moving the creepy doll from its crib to the bed, a bizarre shadow goes ahead of them and disappears under the bed. Anyway, they sit her up and set up paranormal equipment to better investigate, and that's when the situation goes from strange to beyond creepy. 4 minutes and 27 seconds into the video is when they are able to convince a ghost to communicate through EVP equipment. Are you okay with us being in this room right now? Yes. Yes. Another yes. Yeah. I don't think these EVPs are pre recorded messages on a fake ghost hunting app because the scary voices continue to make sense and answer very specific questions in real time. Do you know who we are? Like, can you tell us our names? Yes. Yes. A little ghost girl's voice says something I can't understand. And as the creepy doll moves by itself, the scary voice of a little ghost girl screams right before the doll falls over. Oh my gosh. The doll just That's been up for her. They sit the cursed toy upright and resume the paranormal experiment. If that was a spirit, can you make one of the uh, meters go off? Oh, whoa, whoa. Seen it? What? Oh, look at my meter. Many of the paranormal EVP they've caught on camera has been the voice of a child, so they logically infer that this could be a spirit of a child trapped inside of the doll. Are you a young spirit? Are you a child? Look 
you see that? Somehow the doll creepily nods with agreement that it's possessed by a little girl, and then it presents them with some of the best paranormal evidence of the night. Well, I'm pretty sure that was you uh, that maybe moved the doll and did the K2 meter. Now we'd like to... Whoa! <laughs> oh my... The K2 meter just fell over. Somehow, upon the very mention of her paranormal equipment, her ghost meter, which is right by the doll's hand, falls over on its own, but the doll remains sitting up. Whatever this is, I think it's definitely paranormal and feeding off of their fearful energy. Oh my god, Clay, this is so creepy. Whoa, okay. <laughs> This time they put the doll leaning back at an angle where it's impossible for it to fall forward by itself and yet as they continue to speak, the toy leans forward and turns towards them as if making eye contact. Who's making that doll move? I am. Is that I am? The more they talk, the stronger it becomes and after a while the doll is falling clear off the bed. It's too bad that we couldn't get a wider angle to prove that the ghost hunters weren't touching anything when it fell over. I feel like Clay could have ran his hand under the pillow to make it fall over, but they sound genuinely surprised so I doubt it. Also, this final piece of paranormal evidence is enough proof in my mind that the Hamilton County Jail is quite haunted. They wait for their equipment to register movement and get nothing until they challenge it. Don't be shy or scared. Maybe you're scared and you don't want to do it because you're scared. Mm -hmm. Oh! That works a lot. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> I think this is real because if you listen close, it beeps as soon as he says the word scared. Maybe you're scared and you don't want to do it because you're scared. Mm -hmm. oh. It's past midnight at a police station in Pahang, Malaysia. A quiet crew plays chess to help pass the time, completely unaware of something that stays two moves ahead. <laughs> The faint outline of a figure leaves them fearfully singing for protection and clambering over each other to stay far away. A different police video taken 10 years later shows more scary things that are just beyond creepy. In the darkness looms a mysterious figure, not wearing a reflective vest like everyone else, that also does not reveal any detail whatsoever, even when directly under the high-powered beam of a police flashlight. <laughs> Not to mention those crying noises coming from the woods. It could be speakers, but I really doubt the police would be wasting time faking paranormal videos, so either this is a joke being played on them, or else these scary ghost videos are actually real. I want to get the opinions of people from Malaysia where this video was made to help me decide if these creepy videos are real or part of a viral trend or what. Either way, you know the paranormal activity is bad, when even the police are too afraid to do something about it. Not that there's much they can do. Circles, captured on camera in Wiltshire in 1989 and shared by Redditor Dex Meets Dexter. This footage filmed by John Wabe shows two mysterious flying objects, creating what appears to be crop circles. Crop circles form below the strange white objects. Watch again. Is this real? 
Are we seeing these mysterious extraterrestrial signals being formed before our very eyes? According to many in the comments, this video is a known hoax that was debunked years ago. This still doesn't stop some people from believing this is real though. I'm convinced it's a fake, but a pretty compelling one at that. Number 20. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.